Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. I see the Ten of Swords at the very bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel like when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to love, and you could consider yourself to be a soulmate, twin flame, those titles to me aren't that important as much as just what's going on. And it doesn't matter what type of connection it is. They all bring about a lot of learning for you to have experiences to gain wisdom. The Ten of Swords is here. So for some of you, maybe you're in a situation and there's been some type of deception or betrayal, or this is something that you're coming out of um, some type of karmic cycle, a relationship. Even if you are not recently coming out of a physical relationship, you could finally be cutting ties from something that has been a really um weighing heavily on you perhaps emotionally and mentally this could be um heartache and pain or, or suffering that you've experienced within your family your friend groups as well as your relationships let's keep in mind that when it comes to the the heartache the pain or whatever in any of our relationships it definitely has an, an effect on how you choose to love yourself and allow love into your life and who you decide to actually love okay so the Ten of Swords is here. It looks like, like I said, there's been um, an overall energy here of feeling like you're at rock bottom. But the good thing about the Ten of Swords is this is saying that the only place to go from here is up. All right. So, oh, wow. The Ten of Swords is still flew out. So for sure, there is some type of deception or betrayal. And then the Four of Swords came out. So this is you taking time out to rest, to retreat, to heal, to recuperate, to regenerate, okay? The Ace of Swords, you're getting some type of mental clarity. Wow, the Ten of Wands, all right? The Unknown card is here. So you've probably been working a long time to manifest a new beginning. You don't know exactly when it's coming, who's coming, what's coming, <laughs> but you just know that something is coming or there should be the attitude that you have right now as far as just being very... Um, positive and optimistic about what is to come but we have the ten of swords here and the ten of wands already with the four of swords and the ace of swords so for some of you if there's been someone in your energy who's very dece um, deceitful someone who's been very neglectful when it comes to you in this relationship that's about to be completely over that's being cleansed and cleared out of your energy and thank goodness you have this Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands coming in. I feel like this is new love coming in for a lot of you or this person has already entered your life, okay? Keep in mind, you guys, again, in a love reading, this could be totally picking up the energy of someone that you have not even met yet, okay? Um, but I feel that a lot of you, you're coming out of a toxic cycle or a long ongoing like karmic situation the ace of wands and the knight of wands there's definitely a new person that is about to come in there's about to be a major shift and change when it comes to your energy and your love life the judgment card is here in the will of fortune when i see the judgment i always think to myself that that means that you're calling judgment on the situation you want your good karma you're not really concerned if a person if they receive good or bad karma you really just want justice to be served in a situation you you could be looking over the past and realizing that yeah it has been a long difficult road for some of you it's been possibly 10 years of karma or more of you dealing with some type of situation, but the Eight of Pentacles is here. It's time now for you to really get to work. I feel like you've worked very, very hard on a situation and it may just not have turned out the way that you wanted, but justice is coming and the lovers, the lover speaks of there being a choice between two people, all right? So, wow, this is good. The four of swords and the lovers for some of you right now, you feel you may feel like you're taking time out or you need to take some time out. OK, um, for you to heal before this next connection comes in. But for some of you, you're going to meet someone and you and this person are both going to be healing. All right, because oftentimes when you meet soulmates or like a twin flame, the two of you, you're mirroring each other's experiences in some way. So both of you could be coming out of a, a period of grief dealing with you know like i said friends family hidden enemies or whatever the case is you have the the king of pentacles here with the ten of wands the king of pentacles with the ten of wands i feel like for some of you you could have had a person in your energy who was very um power hungry very superficial 
someone who just wanted everything to be their way you're moving away from this energy the hermit card this is someone that either they ghosted you or you you're choosing to finally turn your back and ghost this person this is a connection that most likely has taught you a lot about yourself and now what you're moving into is victory success rewards and recognition with whoever this new person is the knight of wands ace of wands you will know exactly who this new energy is because it's very fi fiery it's passionate like i said i think that it brings you happiness it brings you joy okay um which ultimately is going to bring you a great deal of peace eight of pentacles let me tell you something whoever this person is that's still lingering in your energy or who's trying to get into your energy to uh, attack you in some way there's nothing but a lot of deceit and let me tell you this person is working very very hard to bring about some type of deception or betrayal your way and it's only because you have a new romantic interest here either you guys have already connected with someone new or you're about to yeah, the page of wands here. This is exciting news, communication, information that's coming in about an opportunity for you to move forward now that you've closed the cycle out with the world and you're going into the Ten of Cups. So those of you who are worried about love, you don't need to worry too much about it. What you need to do is cut the cords to your past or whoever is in your energy. It could be someone currently in your energy, but someone is working overtime to ensure that you have all these swords in your back. When the truth is, is that it's time for you to focus on healing and you don't have to heal alone. There's this misconception that we hear in the collective oftentimes or just a spiritual community that in order for you to heal, you have to be completely alone. When you've mastered yourself and you're not stuck in a cycle of codependency, you can absolutely heal and still have standards and boundaries and allow yourself to actually be healed. Some people you are missing love you're not a lot of people are excellent people they're they're amazing people that doesn't make you a great partner i feel like spirit is saying now it's time for you to actually experience partnership it's time for you to see yourself the way that god and another person may see you but to be able to see the positive things about you some of you have a person that is in your life or in your energy this person is trying to make you see yourself in a way that's not true these this someone is trying to completely push you into a, a point of doing nothing at all but self-sabotaging and i feel like it's it, it has worn you out and the, the audacity of this person to keep trying to um get into your energetic field each and every time you have a new offer is beyond me but wow this is beautiful the page of wands the world you have the ten of cups and the temperance card wow the tower and the hierophant two of pentacles yeah you definitely have a major connection that's either here now you can trust this or it's coming in for you justice the ace of swords it's like you're for sure getting truth clarity there's some kind of mental breakthrough here where you know that it's time for you to end some type of cycle and the page of wands you need to have that passion and that excitement to start manifesting exactly what you want who you want is out there they're waiting for you or like i said this person is, could already be in your life but some of you you're gonna have to let your your guard down a bit and it could be difficult because you have the ten of swords the ten of wands you're carrying a lot of burdens and baggage from a past situation that you're still trying to work through the seven of pentacles here whoever this king of pentacles person is could be a capricorn virgo or taurus or they have this heavily aspected in this chart in their chart this person has completely broken your heart in some way and it looks like they have been very um like this person has strategically done things to hurt you to cause you harm all because they wanted to block you from moving forward this is someone that you could have been married to in a past life with the Queen of Pentacles being here. The Five of Swords. It's almost like it's some type of game with this person. Each time you try to move away and heal yourself to go towards something that's very beautiful and passionate. Yeah, every time this person sees something good coming in for you, they begin to attack you spiritually. They want to attack your psyche. All right, this is someone who's obsessed with power and control, but this new person coming in is a true masculine, but it's going to require you to take a leap of faith with this person. You can have someone coming into your life or who is already in your life. And um, this could happen in Virgo season. This person could have Aries highly aspected in the chart or they just 
really embody their divine masculine energy. This is someone who's taking charge. They are pursuing you, okay? They understand also that maybe you are, you're guarded because of your past. However, this person, they still see you as the high priestess. They, they want to honor you. This person is going to take action and actually defend and protect your honor against whoever or whatever is coming against you. This is someone who for sure is, is very, very prideful about their partner that's coming into your life is what I'm seeing here. This could definitely be a fire sign because there's all fire here. Yeah, and more fire, eight of wands. Something significant is taking place here in August and, and leading to Virgo season. The ace of cups is here. The nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles is also Virgo-like energy. The knight of pentacles. Someone here is, is slowly but surely coming towards you. This is... um. I'm hearing this is someone who wants a seasoned relationship, meaning they want something that's real. They want something that's true. They want a mature type of partnership or relationship. It doesn't matter the age or anything, but this is someone who's coming into your life that wants something real. I don't feel like they're going to rush because this is a person who is very self-aware. They know who and what they want. So when they discover you, it's like at that point, it's all about you guys just moving into... Um, Disunion. Sorry, guys, I'm getting notifications. All right. So the Eight of Cups, something here, walking away from this disappointment. Okay. Some of you, unfortunately, it's like either you are married to someone or you've been in a long term connection with a person and it is just. The, uh, the type of situation where you're not happy but what i'm really strongly getting from this with this king of pentacles being here some of you were married to this king of pentacles in a past life in this lifetime this person is karmic to you but they still feel like they should like they have some kind of ownership or they should be able to have some kind of possession over you this is someone though that probably has walked away from you with the eight of cups or you were forced to walk away from this person because you were constantly being disappointed for some of you too you felt like you were in separation from a person this person is married they're committed they've already built some type of life they have a um a stable secure lifestyle with someone else most likely they're married and they have a family the issue with this is that this person is always keeping their eye on your will of fortune and they always are trying to figure out the best way to come in to block you all right you have to really stand your ground to whoever this individual is because at any point they will stab you in the back it's like you have to understand that hearts never truly break evenly all right. There's a person here that you were most likely married to in a past life. This is a karmic energy. And unfortunately, some of you have really been led to believe that this is indeed your soulmate, your twin flame that you are destined to be with in this lifetime. Maybe at some point that was the case, but it seems that your contract has been rewritten. There's a very passionate offer that's coming in from someone and they want the same things that you want. Yeah, I'm sorry, but seriously, somebody here is waiting on a person that is fully committed elsewhere. They're committed elsewhere and they take a lot of this this person. They enjoy sabotaging your life. Most likely, this is someone that you walked away from. This person has made it their business to sabotage you in any connections that come your way yeah the three of cups it's time for you to go out and celebrate and have love and wish fulfillment six of cups is here the page of pentacles this six of cups to me i feel is a lot of inner child healing i feel that you guys are going into um friendships relationships you're meeting with your soul family your soul tribe now different people who are like-minded who are going to show you how they've come out of situations or they are going to encourage you to leave certain situations and really really find yourself we are going um into virgo season in the next two weeks virgo season is going to start so a lot of hermit energy like going within for that healing and introspection and i feel like you are indeed going to with the page of pentacles here you're going to come into some type of 
truth or clarity that is like the missing piece that's going to make you realize that you truly are the divine feminine some of you because of these situations from the past dealing with um these karmic individuals it may lead you to believe that maybe you're karmic because this situation is not coming together there is something here in your life that's not working out in your love life because it's truly not meant to it's not meant to work out for a lot of you you're under the impression that you're waiting on a twin flame or some type of divine counterpart and this person is they're totally karmic they're karmic to you. They're only in your life for a reason, a season, and for a lesson. And it was never meant to be a lifetime. The magician is in the reverse. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who is extremely manipulative. Very, very manipulative. And if you hold on to this, you are going to miss an opportunity to actually go have this awakening and embrace this sun-like energy. There's something that is still trying to hold on to you. And it's interesting how in this reading, we really want to see what's coming in. But this past energy is literally taking over. This is a very narcissistic person that is projecting a lot of energy onto the collective and trying to hold you and have you bound to a situation simply because now you want to move on and go towards wish fulfillment, happiness, and be very assertive, ambitious, powerful, sexy, you know, and able to go towards something new where there's equal give and take and look at this what you're going towards you have the queen and the king of wands here with the six of pentacles this is a reciprocal relationship between two people who most likely are actually divine counterparts you're ready to take action in your love life and there's a person that's coming in they are equally ready to take action as well however some of you you're still at a crossroads and you're experiencing this stagnant energy because either you are still longing for or desiring someone that's not for you or you're trying to get away from a person and they are doing a lot of um spell work or using manipulative tactics to hold you back even if there is spell work or manipulation the way that you can combat that is by releasing this person energetically and spiritually you have to completely cut the cord because somebody really wants you in your head, stressed out, fearful, and dealing with a lot of anxiety. Because now you're receiving an actual love offer from someone who wants to be stable, who wants to be devoted, that wants to offer you the actual ace of pentacles. This is an offer of marriage that's coming for a lot of you. Yeah, to be honest, the way I see it is with this hangman here. Your connection here with the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Star, your divine connection has been, like, delayed. You're supposed to be working with a particular person. And it has absolutely been stalled and delayed because, for some of you, the truth is, is that you've been under the impression that someone is actually your divine counterpart that's not that i i can't figure out any other way to say this it's like someone has literally been tricked or bamboozled or just your um wounding from the past dealing with this person friends or family you may be under the i don't know the illusion that you can't actually have something better. A lot of like twin flame connections are very similar to karmics. It's harder for people to release a karmic than it is for them to release a twin flame because the karmic situations, it, it feeds something, th that shadow aspect of yourself that until you actually heal it, you're always looking for that void to be filled. A lot of people, when you truly meet like a twin flame, you and that person can live your lives separately and you never feel the need to possess them because you know that that person is always with you spiritually and energetically. And for you to learn and grow and evolve and heal with that person being attached to you energetically or in your life, you don't have to suffer. Some of you have been taught to believe that because you've gone through hell with a person that you're supposed to experience heaven with them on the flip side and know some people are only in your life to be a, a, a bringer of lessons, and that's it. 
And it's unfortunate because I see a lot of just stagnant energy here in this reading. It's like everything that you want is either already in your life and you are refusing to see it because you're still waiting on something from the past. Or for some of you, you're just not open to new things at all because you really feel like you've met your person. Now, I'm not saying that a person from your past or someone that has betrayed you cannot come back into your life and present you with a serious, stable offer and they be a new energy. However, you will have to really test the spirit to see. The Knight of Swords is here. Somebody is so ready to come into your life. You have here the Temperance card. Somebody sees you as like an earth angel or they themselves may be like an earth angel. And by this person coming into your life, it brings about death. It means that you have to completely end everything else to allow your life to transform. But with this person. Wow. I'm telling you, some of you guys, it's like your actual divine counterpart, the person that has been ordained for you by God himself. That person is either like they're right under your nose. They have to be. They're very close to you. This person is on their way, their way in if they haven't come in already. But it is 100% up to you to allow this person to come in and offer you this type of love. And whoever this person is in the background, they're bad news. They really are. Because I see with the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands out here, the Seven of Pentacles, this person actually invests in your downfall. And here's a King of Pentacles again with the Nine of Swords. This, for you guys, is an ongoing battle of just suffering being worried, having anxiety, and you have to be at your breaking point or getting very close to it when it comes to dealing with this King of Pentacles. You and this King of Pentacles in a past life, you were the Queen of Pentacles to this King of Pentacles. Most likely in a past life, you and this person, you had a family together, okay? A lot of stability, some type of empire that you and this person had together. And it was very much a traditional, perhaps even like arranged marriage. In this lifetime, you're most likely being encouraged to release a lot of the status quo and to separate yourself from whatever this arranged marriage was that you are still somehow in a karmic contract with this lifetime because it doesn't feel like this is the person that you're choosing for yourself you stick to the idea of this person because it's familiar to you it had to have been a very 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 strong past life connection that you have with this person but i don't feel like it's your actual person your actual person is this this knight of wands king of wands ace of wands person someone that's real masculine energy That's an action taker. That's not someone that's just going to call you, text you. This is someone that's going to show up. They're going to court you. They want to protect. They want to provide. This is someone here who is either, they're, they're single most likely. They're ready to build. This is not, this king of pentacles, this king of pentacles is someone who cares a lot about money, stability, structure. Therefore, this person has most likely a family somewhere else. And one thing about a king of pentacles, any type of earth sign person, they definitely value loyalty. This person, for a lot of you that you are waiting on, they're not going to leave their family. They've already built up something with their family. And this person, if they are superficial and very much drawn to finances, if they have financial blessings and success with a family unit already, they're not leaving that behind for the sake of love. Look. I just saw the King of Cups. Yeah, the King of Cups is here with the Ten of Wands. This King of Cups is like this King of Wands, King of Cups person. This is someone who wants to be mature. They want to be devoted. This is someone who wants to come in and they want to help balance things out in your life because the Ten of Wands is here. A lot of you, you're, you're receiving an, a person who's like a, they're a divine help or they're an angel. Many of you, you've been stuck in a cycle for a long time nine nine and then the number six is here of trying to find balance in your life and here's the six of wands in the reverse 
It's been very hard for you to achieve victory and success because it's been difficult for you to actually release the baggage of a situation that perhaps has been appealing to your ego, but it hasn't actually been serving your higher self. Because the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups is out here, what would actually be very satisfying to you and would be wish fulfillment is if somebody came in and they were to lighten your load. You didn't have to feel like you had to work so hard and be completely burnt out. It's taking an emotional toll on you to keep trying to figure out what is next with a person that is not actually committed to you. And it's time now for you to have this realization with the, the tower and the five of pentacles here. And then here's the seven of pentacles in the reverse. You're work, some of you, trigger warning, you're working hard, but you're actually working in vain with trying to convince someone that they're your person. There's someone here, look at this. You have the Sun card, the Lovers, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Fool card, the Five of Swords. If you will stop fighting yourself and stand your ground, new love will come into your life. Some of you, you're fighting this new love. This person could already be in your life. You're fighting this person. There's, there's, there's chemistry, there's attraction, there's passion. Okay, or may, maybe you feel like there is not enough chemistry or attraction or passion, but you may not be paying attention to the fact that somebody is in your life who is willing to help you to learn lessons, to grow and to overcome whatever this karmic toxic cycle is that you've been in. But are you actually giving this situation or this person a chance? The lovers is here. You have a choice to make, to be with someone who's going to encourage you to be creative to celebrate with the type of person that offers you partnership who you can collaborate with someone who is actually your friend this person is passionate about marriage commitment stability building legacy they want a happy home that's the king of cups this person wants a happy home it's not all about money to this person security stability yes but this is someone who is family oriented they they understand the importance of being a leader not a dictator, but a leader. However, this energy of you feeling conflicted because you've experienced so much loss and betrayal from, honestly, the enemy that you called a lover at some point, you're going to have to free yourself from this and stand your ground and choose not to go back to it because it's blocking you. The Ace of Wands, you literally have the Sun, the Lovers, the Three of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands. All of this good energy is here, but still, it's like there is no opportunity for you to win if you don't actually take a leap of faith. The seven of wands is here. It's time for you to stand your ground and protect yourself so that you can experience new love. Ace of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Somebody comes in and there it's like um they're your truth. They're your truth in a bunch of lies. The three of swords here. The truth is that a lot of you honestly, the collective, you're heartbroken. Your emotional pain and the suffering of these third party situations and waiting on these karmic partners, it is beginning to make you lose a bit of hope. That's not everyone, but for some of you who are still struggling, Spirit is saying it's time for you to have this mental clarity and, and a breakthrough. It's time for you to take charge and be brave and understand that these situations that came in to break your heart, it was to teach you how to have more strength when facing adversity. And it was to fix your vision, to understand that going through all of this drama, it, it's not necessary. It's like many of you, you've learned certain lessons when it comes to matters of the heart. But for some reason, you keep repeating this cycle. And I've said this so many times, and I recently said this to one of my friends, don't allow 
your loyalty to make you a slave to disloyalty. A lot of people think being all a being of love and light that you have to be loyal to everything and everyone. And that's not true. You need to first learn how to be loyal to yourself, loyal to God, loyal to your actual purpose. And if someone isn't actually helping you in your purpose, then why are you holding on to it? And there's, again, this huge misconception that if a person is hurting you and is pushing you into healing, then they're helping you. A person does not have to hurt you to help you to heal. Because when you are surrounded by people, three of cups energy, who are in the same community as you, the same soul family as you, they've gone through similar situations. A person can sit down and because of their level of self-awareness and the fact that they are not doing things from a place of ego, you will automatically learn from them. That's, that's being around a true leader. You can learn from a person by watching how they move, what they do, what they say, the fruits that come off of their tree. And they never have to hurt you. They don't have to sabotage you. They don't have to do spell work. So when you think that, oh, because a person, you know, they've been manipulated by the karmic or this, making all of these excuses for people who have refused to become self-aware, enlightened as you have, it's going to keep you stuck. The world card is here. It's time to end this cycle of being held back by someone who simply just wants to hold on to you energetically. But they're withholding their energy. They're withholding um, their resources. They're withholding anything that can actually help you. And it's caused you to be in the hangman. It's caused you to constantly be just lingering. Like just not moving. This person is sacrificing you energetically so that they can gain what they want. Wow. But if you would just see this for what it actually is, the world card and wrap up this cycle, you get to be the star. The star, you get to heal. Your faith will be restored. Your confidence will come back. Your creativity and then you have the temperance here and the high priestess. This could be your energy or this could be you and another person, a high priestess and an earth angel. This is for some of you. You're going into union with yourself. And then we have the moon card. Tonight is the full moon in Aquarius. You have this divine union taking place within yourself where you are learning that to be an earth angel, you, you have to live a set apart life. And to be a high priestess, you're going to go through different things in your life that teaches you sacred wisdom and knowledge so that you can actually live a set apart life because many of you your natural born leaders and your life is going to be a testimony and it's going to inspire other people to to grow and to heal and to evolve therefore you cannot be stuck with a situation that is karmic because that means that you're just completely not in your purpose there's something in your subconscious mind, some type of illusions or deception that is causing you to be confused. And some of you, you are proceeding with caution in the wrong situation. Some of you, you have good opportunities coming and you're still being um, using all of this caution because a part of you is still sort of wondering, do you need to work on the past? The eight of pentacles is here in the reverse. It's saying no, you are completely burned out from trying to work on a certain situation with someone you don't need to do anything else you need to allow justice to come in and do exactly a karma to come in and do what it's supposed to do so that you can actually have the two of cups and equal give and take partnership with someone where there's love there's affection there's attraction there's a friendship this person who wants to actually be in union with you some of you you want an actual marriage okay you don't have to settle for having these so-called spiritual connections. And, th and that's it. You can absolutely have a marriage to your divine counterpart, your God-ordained spouse. You can have that kingdom marriage if you will stop allowing yourself to settle for the karmic relationships that you feel because your favorite tarot reader told you so is going to turn into a marriage. Nobody is going to, let me not say that. Proceed with caution in thinking that a person who is already committed elsewhere 
whether they're committed to their family, they're committed to living a certain type of lifestyle, they're committed to being ruled by their ego, that they're going to stop and drop and do everything is necessary to be with you, especially if you have invested many, many months or years of your time and nothing has changed. There's three pages here. The page of wands, the page of pentacles, and the page of swords. This is a very, very young, spiritually young, naive type of energy. Someone here who thinks that you somehow will come to them that they can manifest you without them doing any work. This is someone who is only going to spy. They're only going to give you the, the bare minimum with communication. Okay, this is someone who only wants to text you. They come in and check in back and forth the page of wands to discover what you've done new in your life to figure out. Do you have a solid beginning? Now, keep in mind, Venus is in retrograde and in a few weeks, Mercury will be in retrograde. Your past is going to keep coming in only to find out what you are trying to manifest. The three of wands, they only want to know who or what is coming in for you so that they can see in what areas of your life are you expanding so that they can figure out the best way to ensure that you are still in this nine of swords to cause chaos conflict to project a bunch of negativity onto you and you you should not allow that to happen anymore because you have a person for many of you a knight of pentacles type energy someone that wants to come in and actually be very practical in their efforts of 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 trying to manifest a life with you for some of you this past person is this knight of pentacles this is someone here where the the progress is very slow it's not moving this person is stuck in their ways they're stuck in a routine but i'm telling you there's an energy out here of someone that will see you as a queen of cups they will give you a page of cups and you will become an empress some of you, if you want to be partners and parents, whatever you're doing or what, whoever you're waiting on, they're not going to give that to you. And remember before how I said that that king of pentacles, you were married to someone in a past life. Remember the queen of pentacles. And what do you have here? The death card. And then what else? The ten of swords. Queen of pentacles. You were married to someone in a past life that is showing up in your life now. You need to put an end to this situation because if you don't, this person, either they've already betrayed you and caused you to have a bunch of heartache, pain, and to be, you know, just in these cycles of bad luck. Or if you don't end this, you're going to hit rock bottom because you keep trying to move forward and manifest this person in your life. Spirit is saying that you need to move forward and it's time for you to pull your own sword out the queen of swords, stand your ground, and most likely give yourself a shot with this king of wands this king of wands person is someone that you know they're like they are worthy of some type of i'll be completely honest but the word that i heard and i know everybody has mixed feelings about this this king of wands is someone who is a natural born leader they're worthy of of a form of submission I'm not saying anything about somebody dominating you, controlling you, but this person is worthy of your feminine energy. You being willing to let your guard down. The king of swords is here. This is someone like with the queen of swords. They're a straight shooter. They're disciplined. Yes, they make head over hard decisions, but this is the type of person they're controlled. They can control their urges. They're not only in ego. Five of Cups. Some of you are in regret. Why? Because you didn't receive an offer from someone that you had to walk away from. But this person, you guys, by taking an offer from a particular person that you know has left you feeling heartbroken and let down, isolated and in despair. 
you give up your opportunity to have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles because for some of you, this person could even be well off financially. They're not going to share any of their money with you. Their money is going to go to this family that they've already created elsewhere. Most likely with the person that they chose over you because at some point in your journey, they didn't see your worth or your value. This story is something that you all already know. It comes out in the collective readings. All right. <laughs> it comes out in all of the messages. So for this to be a love focused reading, the truth is, though, you have a person either in your life that is trying very hard to prove that they really have your back or someone that's trying to come into your life. But there hasn't been in a space open for this new love because you still have the mindset that a person who is karmic who is a past life lover is indeed the counterpart that God has chosen for you this lifetime. And they're not, of course, this may not be everyone's story, but if it resonates, it resonates. It's time for you to make a decision and you need to accept a situation for exactly what it is and understand that everything happens for a reason. A person that they've left you, betrayed you or whatever, it happened for a reason. Like I said, for a lot of you, you carry that temperance, like that ancient, wise, sage, shamanic like energy or the high priestess energy. Your life has been difficult because you were meant to learn a lot of lessons so that you could teach those lessons to those who want to learn. So as you go through things, understand you don't have to stay in that situation. Some of you are, are either consciously or unconsciously staying in a situation that's bringing you nothing but pain and grief and suffering. And that may mean that at this time, especially with the full moon, as we think about shadow work and healing and seeing beyond the veil and understanding your own subconscious mind that's creating this reality, really, really pay attention to how you view love because a lot of people... We've all been programmed to think that love means that you have to suffer and you don't. You've, you've gone through enough suffering. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. Different, <laughs> different pages. Literally, it says the cards don't lie. You and this person don't share the same vision. Wow. Release. <laughs> Radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go. You have here boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed. And do not miss the red flags here. Someone is completely obsessed with you energetically. But you need to ask yourself, does this situation actually align with your morals and your values? You have here twin flame finances and soulmate. Some of you need to be careful not to choose your life partner based on finances alone. A financial situation can change. A person's morals, values, and character, oftentimes when you're dealing with grown people, that doesn't change. And some of you, like I said, you may be holding out for a particular person. They're already in a situation where they built up financial abundance that they're not leaving. Some of you could be looking at a person that is having financial challenges and you're trying to decide, could that person be a soulmate or a twin flame to you? A person's financial situation can change. I'm sure your financial situation has had ups and downs. So make sure that you're not allowing yourself to make these huge life decisions based only on anything that is very 3D. Some of you, a situation is strictly sexual. Someone is only in it to be able for the passion and to take your energy and you're needing to protect yourself against this, this person. Wow. Past life love. <laughs> and you have her apology. You can expect the apology that you want to hear, but is it sincere? You can expect the apology that you want to hear, but is it sincere? And you already know the answer that you seek. You, you guys know that a lot of these apologies that you're receiving, especially in this season of retrograde, that they're not sincere. They're not. All 
Um, let's see. Right now you need to just flow your fear of releasing something permanently is causing you to overthink and possibly self-sabotage and block out potential offers that are truly good for you. Telepathy came out and then you have fear longing, missing you, desiring you in a connection. Some of you, you have a person from your past or that's in your energy that should not be there. They are trying to telepathically communicate with you because they're trying to draw you back in. You guys also have a person, though, that is trying to connect with you or you're already connected to someone who actually desires a family with you. They want to make the effort. They want to be a provider. All right. Make sure that you are assessing and evaluating your own self-worth at this time. If you're struggling with self-worth, it's going to be easy for these narcissistic codependent energies to try to come back in to steal your energy and keep you stuck and bound and therefore make you miss another offer or opportunity that's actually good for you. All right. In the month of August, we have two full moons, two super moons. Actually, it's the first time that this has happened since 2018 and it won't happen again until 2037. All right. Don't allow yourself to be stuck in some type of weird um, situation that's not going to actually serve you. Okay. Sorry, you guys. One second. Sorry, you guys. I want to pull a few more cards. Um, so boundaries. It's very important that you take time and speak up and practice self-discipline in a lot of these situations. There's a strong message here to have boundaries because it's like there's a person that's going to love bomb you and tell you that they love you to draw you back in so that you will be stuck in some type of cycle. But you also have a person that is going to express that they love you. And they're going to assist you with your self-worth and your values. And it could lead to a union. Like you actually coming together with this person. And it seems like once you open yourself up to this type of love or this connection, something is going to move quite rapidly. Hold on. There's a card in here that's turned over. Yeah. Somebody is definitely going to be calling, texting, reaching out. I'm telling you, it's this retrograde energy. People who have, you know, regrets about situations, they're going to come in. You're going to have a lot of signs and symbols and synchronicities. Every time you get a sign, a symbol, every time you see an angel number, it doesn't always mean that you need to lean into it and think that it's always a positive sign. Sometimes it's to raise awareness that something is actually not for you. Something here is very toxic. There's an extremely manipulative, toxic um controlling like narcissistic energy that is going to great lengths to try to draw you back in you do not need to allow the devil to summon you back into any type of situation only because you and this person you have some kind of past life situation that's not your person this lifetime so let them go fully because this person is nothing but a burden to you So within a few months, something is going to change. It's a big change. Yeah, within a few months, you either will be in a successful relationship with your life partner or you will meet this person. And it's going to be a lot of love, a lot of intimacy and passion. It's a good change that's coming. But right now you need to just take time to step away from a situation and a manifest wish fulfillment. And whoever it is that is regretful about losing you, they're trying to cause you to self-sabotage. But this person only comes in when they have conflict with another person. And they bring conflict, drama, chaos, and confusion to your life. That's not something that is being sent to you by God. It's not. Let's pull a few of our romance cards. Yeah, you need to watch out. Okay. It's a very strong message here. 
that you have a very envious, jealous, like ex lover or even friends and family that don't actually want to see you move forward in your life. It's obvious. But what's most important is that you are discerning. Because I, I definitely see here with the telepathy that there is a lot of conflict here. You have more than one person that is telepathically communicating with you. You have your sweet song, spiritual awakening, interferes, main attraction, and slow down. Yeah, somebody sees you as the main attraction. And it's not a situation that you really have to rush because it looks like when you and this person are together, when you meet this person, the two of you are going to be facing fears together. Fears around um, just being vulnerable or with intimacy or whatever the case may be. But you and this person both are most likely going to go through like a spiritual awakening. Some of you need to be careful of the music that you listen to as well because it's like with this telepathic communication and the confusion, there's going to be like signs, symbols, music, and other things that are going to be sent to you through a person who genuinely loves you and also through someone that wants to sabotage you. You can pay attention to when you listen to certain music, like who and what you're thinking of, and you should be able to discern that maybe that's not actually a good energy. Especially if something is constantly making you think about the past and it's a past situation that you've already walked away from that you know for a sure fact that you do not need to return to. This is someone who's trying to use your fears and trying to use control to somehow sabotage you and slow you down because they know that you're about to be the main attraction in someone else's life. Or if not in someone else's life, just in some type of opportunity. And once again, here in a totally different deck, we have telepathy. All right. Law of attraction is here. So with law of attraction and telepathy being here, you have to be mindful of what you are attracting. If you are in a toxic, like codependent energy, knowingly or unknowingly, you're going to att attract people who are very narcissistic. People who want to feed off of you energetically without offering you anything because they can smell the codependency on you. Double date. So partnership, It's there's connections that are coming in where people are eventually going to want long-term partnerships with you. It could lead to happily ever after. I have the friends with benefits card here. So somebody could eventually want to take things to the next level with you. They may even want to go on like a double date. Double dates, you know, for some people, that's a big deal because that means that someone wants to actually make your connection um, a bit more exclusive. But the, the focus here is priority. This is a monogamous, exclusive relationship that's coming in for you. There, there's no hiding. It's like one person here is trying to connect with you while being tied to someone else, a whole family or they're a workaholic or whatever the other the case may be. But then you have this other person that you could actually go through a spiritual awakening with. This person wants to introduce you to their friends, their family. They want to have fun. Um, they want to help you to grow your relationship with God. Like they want an actual partnership that could possibly lead to a happily ever after. Wow. Wedding. So it's like you and someone, you give each other like peace of mind. There, There's a person out there that truly wants to marry you. But again, you cannot continuously give energy to people in your life or from your past who don't give you clarity. If a person is in your life and they cannot give you any type of clarity and you don't have a peace of mind, then that means that you can't actually manifest. You can't break generational curses. You cannot build a legacy with a person who cannot actually be truthful and honest or even vulnerable or with you enough to tell you how they think or how they feel about you or about the life that the two of you are trying to build together. So just be mindful of like the love bombing energy from people who are just going to come in and act like they really want to build something with you and they don't. 
they only want to come in to sabotage you from moving forward. Yeah, look, it says nothing will come of this situation. You have a brand new start coming. You have something brand new, either with a person that you're currently connected to or with someone that's coming into your life. There's a situation in your life now. It's not going to move past what, it's, what it is already. Like somebody is just not going to ever offer you the serious commitment that you want. It's because your morals and values are different. Somebody just, they don't see life the way you see it. And you can't build a life or a family with someone when your morals and values are totally different. Yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. So when it comes to your overall security, your stability, your finances, you need a more practical plan and approach to how you're going about doing something, especially for the masculine collective, because if you're going to be in a situation to protect and provide with someone, then you have to allow yourself to go through the ego death and the transformation where you work through your fears. Some people are afraid to be in a position where they have to protect and provide for another person. And it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female, but this is a fear that you have to work through because a lot of people, unfortunately, have tried to protect and provide for someone who has betrayed them. Now they are very afraid to try to protect and provide for anyone. All right. So with the full moon in Aquarius, this is saying you have to show the world the real you. This is you being authentic and truly in your power. Knowing exactly what you want and going for it, not being held back. Your commitment is being tested. So new levels, new devils right now, things may seem hard. God is coming in to test you right now simply because God knows that your enemies are also going to test you. But if you want the favor of God, you have to be willing to to not go back you can't backslide right now it's too much on the line some of you literally you're, you're able to meet the person that you will build your entire legacy with so why would you sabotage that for a person that you know is not committed to the types of dreams that you have and then it says you and your loved ones are safe so new moon and cancer um taurus scorpio aquarius and cancer could be significant Someone here out could definitely be a cancer. And this cancer energy has been coming out a lot because this is someone for many people who has done things in the dark to try and sabotage your life. But what God, what spirit is saying is that your, your loved ones, you and your loved ones are safe. No matter what is happening with this person, no matter what this person is trying to do to sabotage you, you will be safe, but you have to recognize that your commitment is being tested.